It is 1.16 and I haven't had any coffee today. I've been cleaning the apartment. I have a little laundry going and the dishwasher going. But a few hours ago, I brewed a cup of coffee and I put it in the fridge. It's an iced coffee pod, iced Nespresso pod. I'm trying to remember which one I did. I've never really had time to put the coffee in the fridge instead of having ice in the cup and having the coffee brewed on top. But I was, I followed the Nespresso account and they said to brew the coffee and then pour the coffee into ice after it's brewed. So I didn't do that today. I just decided to put it in the fridge because I just wasn't ready to have a coffee yet which is very unlike me. So I'm gonna, and I love doing it with crushed ice. And I don't know which creamer to put in it. I'm like kind of into, I love this nut pod creamer with, what am I saying? I love this one with the tropical coconut. I'm gonna put. Like, how do you do that without spilling? I guess it's good because there's still coffee left over that you can pour in after the fact. But I really do want to try it when I brew it first with no ice and then I add ice. I really want to try that and see if the ice doesn't melt as bad. Because it, when you brew full cups of coffee, the ice melts really bad. Ooh, this is good. I actually still have like slush in there, which I love. The espresso shot brews nicely over ice. It doesn't melt the ice at all, in my opinion. But when you're brewing a full cup of coffee, it melts the ice completely. So this might be a game changer. Maybe what I'll start doing is brewing the coffee the night before. Oh, this is good. It's like an iced coffee slushy in a way. I'm getting ice cubes because it's crushed up the straw. It's really good. I haven't even started off this video, but hi, welcome back to another video. If you're new, my name is Lauren. Um, I haven't even gotten ready today. All I did was wash my hair and blow dry it. And that's about it. <laughs> Christian's family was in town. They came into town Thursday. He has a two-year-old niece and his sister came in with her husband and they stayed with us Thursday night and Friday night and now they're going to their hotel by Disney. So when they left, I just started cleaning, picking up and stuff. But then I realized like I haven't even had coffee yet today. But I think it's because I had a Cuban coffee last night at dinner. We went to Columbia, which they have in celebration in, in Florida, but it's really good food and I had like a Cuban coffee so it's called a I can't say this so don't make fun of me it's like a cafe con leche but I had one of those with after dinner so I think that's why I'm not as like groggy and sleepy and needing coffee until now so that's fine but Christian is down by the pool with some friends and I think I'm gonna go down there too I'm gonna finish my coffee and then I think I'm gonna make a smoothie and bring the smoothie down but it kind of sucks that I did my hair and washed it, but that's okay. Maybe I'm gonna start doing this with my coffee, like brewing it, letting it sit in the fridge or freezer. I do it at work when I wanna make iced coffee, but this ice maker that makes crushed ice is such a game changer for iced coffees. It's so good. And I'm usually not an iced coffee person. But anyways, it is Saturday and I wanted to start off this vlog because we're already at 1.30 and yeah. Okay, just made us some little smoothies and I'm gonna change into a bathing suit, and then head down to the pool.
it's nine o'clock it's a lot later we went to the pool today hung out for a few hours it started sprinkling so we came back in showered relaxed i watched some youtube videos and then i got chick-fil-a for dinner and now here we are so i'm going downtown to watch the conor mcgregor fight which is not until like 12 or 12 30 but um i'm going to meet taylor and maya downtown and we're gonna just have ourselves a night i don't know what i'm wearing i think taylor is like on her way to come get me anyways i need to figure out an outfit you're on my mirror mount which is just the best invention ever it's like a car mount but i use it on my mirror so i'm gonna take you off okay i have to hurry because taylor is waiting for me outside but i'm just wearing this top it's joa brown a goldy jeans just some sandals and yeah that's the fit so maybe i'll vlog a clip on my phone but taylor's waiting for me outside so i have to go It is the next day. I have to do a few things today, like go to the grocery store. I need to go to Whole Foods and get more of my oat milk that I love, which I can only find there. I don't really shop for groceries at Whole Foods because it can get a little bit pricey. But I'm gonna go to Publix and I think that's it. I don't really need to do anything else. And I'm really trying to be on my water intake today. Yesterday I was trying really hard too. Christian is on his water intake as well. So we're like doing it together Which is always nice because it helps like Motivate you when you live with someone like a roommate or a boyfriend girlfriend, whatever It's super helpful if they're doing the same thing that you're doing like drinking water or like working out after work Christian working out after work really motivates me to work out after work. So It's nice having someone that does it with you if that makes sense so we're really trying to be good about our water so i'm literally already behind so i need to chug this last night was a lot of fun i can't believe if you saw the fight which i'm sure maybe you guys did i don't know i did not expect connor to literally break his ankle and they replayed it in slow motion i did not expect that to happen so I'm not really like super into that stuff, but it was really interesting to watch. Anyways, so I'm probably gonna go to Whole Foods first, and whenever I go to Whole Foods, I always get like a green juice, so I think I'm gonna do that, and then come back, drop off the milk, and then go to Publix. So usual Sunday stuff to get ready for the week. Okay, I'm gonna change, and then we'll go to Whole Foods to get my milk. Okay, I just got back from Whole Foods. I got my oat milk, the Malk oat milk. By now I'm sure you know what it looks like. Got a green juice. This is Greenade. It's apple, celery, spinach, kale, and lemon. This one's really good. I got two coconut waters for smoothies. I got the small ones this time because last time I went, I got a big one. They only last one to two days after you open them. 
so they don't last that long. But, so, got some of those. Got a ginger shot, which is so expensive. They're five dollars. And at Trader Joe's, they're $1.99, so like $2. And I got these veggie burgers, just as like an easy lunch or dinner. I used to get these all the time and put them over a salad. They're really, really, really good. Southwest one is my favorite. In my opinion, the best flavor. I got these um, Simple Mills crackers for my lunches for the week. And that's all I got from Publix. And now I have to go to Publix and get majority of our groceries. But the weather is like in tune with whenever I need to go to Publix because it always is about to rain whenever I go. And then when I get out of Publix, it's pouring. Turmeric, ginger, lemon, and cayenne pepper in this. I usually don't them like that but I hate that one. cut up some strawberries for the week I find that when I cut up strawberries and put them in a bowl ahead of time I am more likely to eat them but I mainly got strawberries for my oatmeal I eat oatmeal during the work week it's easy to pack with me for work and there's a microwave there so I just put it in the microwave and I've been putting banana and almond butter on top and I'm kind of getting a little bit sick of it. So I wanted to switch it up this week and get strawberries. I'll show you the oatmeal that I use. Here is the oatmeal that I use. It's Bob's Red Mill um, quick cooking rolled oats. And you just put them in the microwave. Yeah, so this is what I use. I really like it. It has fiber in it, keeps me full and it's really good with the right toppings on it. I find that oatmeal is definitely good with the right toppings. Switch it up this week and put strawberries on top. And then I can also add chia seeds, hemp seeds, flax seeds, granola. You can really add whatever you want on top of oatmeal. We're going to dinner. We're going to Blaze Pizza. We just got Kelly's after dinner. I got Blondie. And Christian got Cookie Monster and Toasted Coconut. It's like a homemade ice cream spot. I don't think they're everywhere, but it's really, really, really good. Okay, I'm about to shower and go to bed. I have work in the morning. It's gonna be weird because I haven't had a full work week in like three weeks because I moved one week and I had Thursday and Friday off and then I had that Monday off so I had another short week four-day week and then it was 4th of July so last week was a four-day week so this is my first five-day work week in three weeks so it's gonna be weird 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.